Aaron Hernandez's story is remarkably complicated, and trying to decide whether or not he deserves our sympathy is difficult. Netflix has just released their series about the late NFL star and attempted to unpack his complex life objectively. Here are five revelations you need to know. Hey guys, it's Devin Howard. If you want to be my friend on social media, I'm there at Devin Howard. Subscribe to the Fumble, tap the bell, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. We also have a special deal for you at the end of this video, so don't miss out on that. Aaron was arrested on June 26, 2013 in connection with the murder of Odin Lloyd, and less than two years later, he was found guilty. Two years after that, Aaron was found dead in his prison cell after hanging himself with bedsheets. The traumatic story was jarring for the friends and family of both Aaron and the victim, as well as Patriots fans everywhere, but how he got to that point is a long and convoluted story. Here are some things you need to know. Aaron had a tense relationship with his father, Dennis. He was notoriously strict and had a violent streak. He was physically abusive at home, which created a tough environment for young Aaron. When his dad died, something in Aaron changed. Dennis's death was a turning point for him and gave him the freedom to change his college acceptance from Yukon to Florida. When he went to Florida, he got into more trouble than usual and was often extremely aggressive. He was tried for the murder of two victims in a car back in 2007, but wasn't found guilty because there was wasn't enough evidence to indict him. He was reportedly haunted by his sexuality. Hernandez had always had relationships with other men from the time he was a teenager, but at the time he felt he couldn't come out because of his status in the NFL. After he died, his friends said that he was proud of his sexuality, but just kept it a secret. He also allegedly had a lover in prison. A CNN report ended up outing the football star, and he was mocked on a Boston sports radio talk show. Two days later, he was found dead. Although it seemed like his suicide was a direct reaction to the tasteless radio show. His suicide was also meticulously planned out. It's no easy feat to take your own life in prison. Aaron would have had to spend hours tying up a sheet with enough knots to hold his body. He also had to get a hold of soap to spread on the floor so he wouldn't be able to stand. He wrote detailed notes and marked Bible verses with blood. He also had to get cardboard to jam his cell door. All of this seems to paint a picture of a thought-out suicide, not a knee-jerk reaction to something in the press. Following his death, Aaron Aaron's brain was analyzed and researchers found, quote, substantial damage that took years to develop and was the first case we've ever seen of that kind of damage in such a young individual. Some have criticized the perspective that CTE contributed to Aaron's situation. Ultimately, it's a complicated and devastating story for everyone involved. Let me know what you thought of the series in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and before you go, here's that ESPN Plus deal for you. ESPN Plus has a huge live sports selection where you can catch all your favorite MLB MLS and NHL teams throughout the season. There are fewer ads and more highlights for every crazy sports fan out there. You can also stream a selection of international soccer matches as well as college football, basketball, and tons of others, all watchable on over 10 devices, including iOS, Android, Apple TV, Fire Stick, Roku, and so many others. The app lets you rewind live games and replay full games on demand anytime you want. ESPN Plus also has some of the coolest original shows, including Kobe Bryant's Detail, OJ Made in America, ESPN FC, and and much more. You also get 20 UFC Fight Night exclusives with over 100 total fights, including main card events and exclusive original content, all through the easy to access ESPN Plus platform. Our friends at ESPN Plus are giving Fumble fans a special seven day free trial with access to some of the coolest content out there. Join today and get a seven day free trial that you can cancel at any time. And if you want to keep watching, you can join after that for just $4.99 a month or $49.99 for the whole year. I'm Devin Howard for the Fumble, and I'll see you next week.